Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Best Friends Who. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see a thing. Hold on. H- hold on. Hold on. Wow. Oh. I can see everything now. Mr. Harry Potter in the building. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Sex Man. Mr. Austin Powers. Austin- no. You do. You're giving Austin Powers. That's disgusting. You just said that. How <laughs> We're not going to so, have intercourse now. Well, well, we haven't Well, because well, well, had... you've been ill. But why, why you, every time we're on this podcast, you immediately you like, want to bring we don't up. fuck. Yeah, but I was about to say we haven't done it with your glasses on anyway. Oh, no, because I've just got them. Yes, and you already hate them. No. And you blame me for it. You blame me for your poor choice of glasses. Because yeah, no, I, I do, was actually. ill and asleep. No, I don't care. I don't care. You sent me off onto this expedition, this adventure, and left me hanging at the final hurdle where I needed you the most. <laughs> I woke up from my nap because I was really unwell. And all the, I've had like 10 missed calls from James. I thought someone had died or something. Then he goes, oh, I needed help with my glasses. Oh, no, no. Let me explain. Let me explain. My eyes have been hurting. Some of you guys know on the podcast, my eyes hurt. So Isabel's like, stop fucking moaning and do something about it. So yeah. I was like, I'll fucking do something about it then. I'll book an I'll book a optician's eye test, whatever yep. they call them these yeah, days. Yeah, that's it. Right? And I've got problems in my eyes. So I went and I got it checked and the, the lady at Spetshaven was pissing me off, but that's just another story. And then um, she's like, you need glasses. I was like, okay, cool. So I go out and pick some. And because I haven't had my eyes tested in like, I don't know, fucking eight years. I was like, oh my God. I, I don't know. Isabel's not here. Yeah, you panic. And normally I'm with my mum or something. Back in the day when I was a kid, she would pick. (laughs) I was like, oh my God. And like, to make things, not worse, but someone then came up to me who works at Betsavers was like, oh, do you do TikTok? I was like, yeah, I do. He's like, yeah, because people around the the shop are wondering if it's you. (laughs) And I turned and everyone was looking at me. Oh, like, poor little uh, boy in the big world by himself. No, but I was like trying to put glasses on, but everyone's staring at me. Like I feel like it's quite an intimate thing. It is because you've got to try on a lot and see which ones look good. And yeah. sometimes they, sometimes sunglasses can look really ugly. So yeah, like, so if you're doing that in front of everyone, it's kind of embarrassing. It's like, it's like, it's like also it's like, yeah, I'm putting them on, looking. Uh, okay, no, took them off, took them back on. I'm looking around, everyone's just like look, staring at me. And I was like, I, this, I don't feel comfortable, so I want to get in. Like, I want to get there and just get out, right? Well, at least the girls helped you. <laughs> well, no, not really. I just picked up, I literally had like five pairs of glasses in my hand, which is like way too many, apparently. And I just put them on the table. Was, oh, okay, five? Let's just go through them then. And I put this one on, she went, yeah, that's the one that's perfect. And I was like, okay. And being bearing in mind, I'm trying to call my mum, I'm trying to call you. I didn't yeah. take any selfies because I was embarrassed. Aww. And like, you didn't pick up. So I was like, I probably look like shit right now. And I've just spent £275 buying prescription sunglasses, which I got condoms. Yeah, you guys, you need to see these glasses then. <laughs> I'll put them on next episode. He looks like the three blind mice. I, I do. don't know what possessed you to get those, buddy. I, pa- but... I panicked. I fucking, it was a two for 90 quid, right? And I thought, fucking banging. Two for 90 quid. All right. I'll only spend 90 pounds. So in total, I'll spend 110 quid because it's the eye test. And... No, you need glazing. I mean, glare. <laughs> you anti-glare? Need anti-glare. You need polarization. You need fucking Well, you don't, X, but y, you Z. just fell for everything. I literally... Who buys prescription sunglasses anyway? They said I needed them. And I went, do you know what? I'm going to hear you out. Let me cook. And I cooked. But my brain's so foggy today, man. James is going through it and so am I. I haven't been in... I've been in the house for a week. I've been so ill. So I'm sorry if I've got that annoying ill voice. Because I understand if you can't listen to today's episode. Because when I hear someone's ill voice, I'm like... It kind of gives me like this cringe in my head. I've been sleeping on the sofa because you've been ill all week. And I think that's affected me. Yeah, you're in a grumpy tiny. mood. I'm, in a, I'm actually in a really bad mood today. I'm in a stinking mood. I don't even want to be here, bro. Uh, oh. I want to be what, in like... bed. Not in the world. I don't want to die. Okay. But I just want, I want to be. I just want to be asleep. But like I've. I think this week I've had a total of maybe like seven hours sleep. Oh, because you won't let me sleep in the bedroom. Uh, no, you said I don't want to be near you, you um, infected bitch. And then you. I don't call you an infected bitch. I didn't call you that. It was similar. I didn't remember what it was. <laughs> but I didn't want to get ill because I had a few meetings this week and I had a few important things and a lot to do. I knew if I was, if Isabel's ill and she was like written off, I knew I would get written off and then we'll both just be dead in bed. And I thought that's not, no, it's no use to no one. Yeah. And then I had to sleep on the sofa 
And then I'll keep waking up at fucking every hour because I left Minecraft playing on YouTube. Wake me up, scared the shit out of me because I hear someone talking. Then there's builders above us at 8 a.m. just fucking slamming the fucking... You live room. a hard life, I'm sir. not saying I live a oh, hard life. Oh, poor James. I'm not, no, poor it is. Yeah, James it is poor me. Boy. I haven't stepped on a fucking bed in a week. I am ill myself. I am tired. I've been... I went, I went out last night and I'm fucking hammered and now I've just got foggy and I was yeah, throwing up last throwing night. Yeah, was throwing up. I was throwing up last night. At like 4.30 a.m. Yeah, I was butt naked and the only thing that could calm me down was the wet, uh, the wet, the, what? the <laughs> cold floor. Oh, nice. Do you know when you're like that fucking drunk where yeah. you just need to lie down on the bathroom floor? I fell asleep and I woke up, but I didn't know I fell asleep and I walked out the bathroom and it was sun. It was just sunny. That's the outside. worst feeling. Yeah. I was like, oh, God. Okay, I think I'm good off the toilet now. Open the door, which is bright. It's fucking daytime. I slept on that toilet for like six hours. To be fair, I don't remember the last time I went on a night out and came back home and it was bright outside. Like, I feel like I only did that when I was 19. I used to be at the club till like 6am. Also, I swear, clubs don't stay open that late anymore. Because when I was younger, they would shut at like 5, 6am. Now it's like 3, 4am. Four? Four well, I was in chalk till quarter to four in the morning. Oof. Uh, at your big age yeah. no wonder it affected you you can't be doing that anymore you're about to be 24 look at you you got glasses and all you've aged know. about five years with I those on your face i don't even like clubbing either I hate it oh you hate it do you i don't really you've been like doing it. it a lot recently mate more than me it's business business it's business <laughs> I had a meeting and we all went out afterwards as a group yeah whatever to helps prison. you sleep at night buddy and then we went you know what prison's not fun you know I could have gone home but we went nah let's go to another club yeah which is a bit silly well anyway guys we're here and we've shown up for you and we're gonna have a good podcast episode <laughs> even though we're holding on by a thread um, but yeah. before we start the topic of today's episode I'd just like to know, guys, comment down in the comments if this is something that you'd be open to. So there's this, um, I don't know if they're a couple or a group of, a couple of mates, I don't know. But they do a podcast, but they travel. And I always want to travel, right? James is like... (laughs) James is looking at me like, what the fuck am I about to say? Basically, what I'm trying to say is, would you guys be open to the podcast being done like globally why have you not uh, that's crazy asking them before me (laughs) because i know if they say yes then you'll say yes no not at all i have control (laughs) i will say no you can't do this podcast are you not open to that like traveling around the world and just doing basically these because this podcast is so profitable it's so worth traveling the world and fucking go to bali and stick up this podcast would you mean no like traveling because you want to travel but bringing the podcast with us but how the how long we're we gonna be not having a home for? <laughs> like every time we go on holiday, we like just batch three, film. Like say if we want to go travelling for like three months. Who the who the fuck said I was gonna do that? But why don't you want to? Because we have different wants and needs, right? I know. You're telling me that so you would like I, to go travelling for four months. If I want to go travelling for three months, how would we do that? You have to say sorry, guys. I've let you down on the podcast. I've I've wanted to be selfish and travel the world. Can yeah. you not do it like, you know how Saffron Barker does it with Anastasia? They do it on like video call. And that's done well for a minute. Yeah, it has actually. We're season three. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what seasons they do. Exactly. They're mostly recently. A lot of people do that. Anyway, okay, guys, if I was to be traveling the world and I had me sat up doing whatever, would you guys... Just do a fucking summer podcast, you guys, bro. Would you guys watch that? <laughs> Would so you much. guys mind? Because I'm getting a really deep, like, feeling in my gut that, like, I'm wasting my youth and I need to travel, whether that's with James or not. Um, yeah. So, yeah. You want to travel the world without me. Because it's I can't crazy. wait any longer. I but can't wait. You, I've got to go. I've got to go got, on my got, own no. way. Oh my like, God. I keep having dreams. I'm just going to get up and go. Oh, I fucking leave then. <laughs> not leave you, but leave No, but I'm not going to be with you if you're going to travel for four years. Not four years. Oh, I mean, four months. Maybe not four years. Yeah, but like, if we talk about, I don't. I can't believe we're discussing this now, and we haven't even discussed it in real life, off camera. It so, was just to uh, throw it in there, you know. Yeah, force in my hand, bro. I'm That's not what you're your doing. Hand. I'm not pinning you down. But no, but if we did a 
but what I'm trying to get at, like this podcast is more of a hobby. Yes. So it's not it's not a money earner. It's not a uh, if we stop this, it wouldn't change anything in our lives. Basically, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you went traveling, this would then not be a burden. But imagine traveling the world and be like, give me a sec, guys. I've got to bring all my fucking microphone and a camera and all this shit, lugging it around, making sure shit doesn't get stolen. Or we l- what if we lose that? That's thousands of pounds we've lost on an airplane. Do you know what I mean? Or like, yeah, but those are risks to, we have to, take. Yeah, but you want to go traveling? What, I'm going to put that in one of those 60 litre backpacks and then go onto a ferry and it just goes, <laughs> just gets smacked on the floor. Bro, it will break. Do you know, I'm just being honest. It's not. Well, people manage to do it. It doesn't have to be like three fucking cameras. It could be one camera. Yeah, one camera. But and I, they have they have mics that they hold in their hands. I've got to edit that when I'm away. You know what I mean? Yeah, but traveling like not you're, you're traveling, but it's like chill. Like you're you get an Airbnb. You're basically living there. So you're doing what you do now. So we're just gonna move to a country else. for four months. No, you'll go to different countries, but it won't be like oh, today we're here and then today we're there. It would be more like relaxed. It will be with you. Like. Bali, no. Airbnb in Bali. I've been seeing We've so been many there. people do it. Yeah, but that was full on. We didn't go to the, all the other nice places. That's the thing. There's so many. So you'll get there, and I guarantee. But I'm not even saying Bali. I'm saying Philippines. Get an Airbnb in the Philippines. You're doing what Philippines. you do now. Philippines. You're doing what you do now, but you're in the. Why Philippines. are you saying peeing like that? <laughs> Philippines. <laughs> Philippines. <laughs> why, is, why is that? Philippines. Philippines. <laughs> Philippines. <laughs> Um, you, uh, sorry. The, Fili- the Philippines. That's Why my, is it not so right? That's my, no, sorry. That's from my mum because growing up she would always, like, for example, you know the name Danny? She would say Danny. So it's kind of like Philippines. Danny. Daddy. <laughs> not daddy, Danny. Instead yeah, I know. Of, instead just... of Danny, I would go Danny. <laughs> and there's other words as well, but anyway, <laughs> it's just an example. But it's, it's the Philippines. 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 <laughs> anyway. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what I mean. No, I, like I, I, it could be in Canada for fuck's sake. You love you love forests, you love trees. We're in Canada, but you're doing what you do. Yeah, and then we get attacked by a grizzly bear. And then we die. For no moolah. I'm just throwing that all out there, no. guys. And do you know what? It might be more interesting. Brilliant. So you're telling me that I have to travel the world for these people for like people to watch this? No, but it might be fun. Like, you know what I mean? But we want to buy a home, bro. What is going Are on? Are we buying a home, though, guys? The oh house my. we wanted, they didn't accept our you offer. Might... So we're back to square run on that as well. I don't so want you guys to fun. think I'm being a downer, but you don't honestly know the half of it. Isabella, yeah? You will think you have a plan. <laughs> and then she'll curveball it. And then you think that's your new plan. And then she'll curveball it again. So she said to me she wants to go to Australia, then fucking Japan, America, all these places next year, and I have to have the money for it to go, right? And I said, actually, no, I can't do that. She goes, okay, I'll go by myself. Cool. Now I'm finding out we're going to have to go international podcast. <laughs> no, and then now we're not saying. buying a home. So then we, what's the point of renting? We want to stop this and go now. What do you mean? Well, stop we're looking for a new home. We're, we're, so, well, yeah. our stuff has to go somewhere. So I, I've got to pay rent. And Well, how do you not, brother, how do you travel brother, and not pay rent? Do we put it all on storage? Fuck it. Let's just put it all in storage and go. Come on, I don't James. want to. I've got we a life here. I've got, what I've got... life? We're depressed. We are... Day to day, you are more sad than you are happy. Let's be real. What life? What are you on about? What life do we have here? I've got streaming to do. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's a dream of yours. Okay. So and the dream I'm of mine to... is to actually be able to live by myself. Like, as in, like, if you ended up dying one day, yeah, or I don't know, we broke up. I need to have my own substantial fucking shit go, and that is is it. I, I can stream abroad, but yeah. it would be more like it'd be so much harder. Do you know what I mean? My, my life is is creating content, streaming, doing a bit of YouTube, and I'm trying to get my feet off the ground a bit mm. more. I'm trying to. I'm trying to actually, everyone says to me, you do fuck all James or you sp- all you do is spend five minutes a day making a TikTok or some days you don't even make TikToks, you're just lazy, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, all right, fuck it, I'll try hard. And now I'm getting pulled away. I'm not pulling you away, it was just an idea. No, it seems more it's than an, an idea. It's just an idea, it's just an idea. Because I feel guilty saying no as well. Yeah, but the thing is, James, we are a relationship, but we are also individual humans. Right. And we've got to do what we both want to do. And we've got to figure out a way mm. of how we can but navigate you, you, that. But you give me anxiety, though. 
Why? Because literally, I'd be like, we're, buy- we're buying a home. Oh, no, we're not. We're renting. No, we're not. We're buying. We're renting. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, now we're going to travel well, we the world. Oh, but now we're going to rent. But no, I'm I not still like, I don't buy- know where I'm going to I still want to buy somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where in the next five months I'll be. No. I'll probably be in China. I need, I think I need medication. But you said to me you want stability in life. Yeah, I do. Nothing about that plan is stable at all. Buy a house and travel. That's my, that's my, Brother, that's my who goal. do you think I am? Bill fucking Gates. <laughs> who has the money to buy a home and then go, do you know what? Fuck it. Let's pay mortgage. Do up the home and travel the world. I'm not a fucking crypto millionaire. <laughs> I'm a guy that makes fucking TikTok. Who's been struggling for the past year? <laughs> no, but we can figure it out. I fucking hope you do. I think me and James need to sit down and actually yeah, figure it out. Yeah, that would have been really like, good, but not, but not in an argumentative way. Just like let's just lay it all out on the table. What do we actually want from life? And then we no, figure out. No, the question is, what the fuck do you want from life? Because <laughs> I'm just content doing whatever I need to do. Well, you clearly not. No, but me traveling. <laughs> yeah, how am I earning money from that? You, I you don't know, do vlogs anymore, do t- Chief. Yeah, but you do comedy TikTok. You can do that anywhere in the world. Okay, and then, right, that's fine. Where do I get the product sent to us so I can do brand deals? Well, we can travel to places that send. Right, hold on. VO5's coming in. I'm going to go back to the Philippines. I'm going to pick up a parcel. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> Fucking get a private jet. <laughs> Speedboat. I don't know where they... where they, but. Some, some the Royal Mail will get delivered. Some influencers travel, but then they come back for the brand deals. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking blow up. I'm gonna fucking blow up. <laughs> it is crazy. I want to. I would love to. But if I was a full-time YouTuber, I'm talking multi-million subscribers, like tens of millions, yeah. I would do whatever. But I'm in the I hustle don't stage, fucking baby. Even no man, life is so confusing. I'm in the hustle era. I know you're in the hustle era. If you want to get a fucking Airbnb in Bali and I'll Twitch stream from there, that's cool. Would you do that? Yeah. Well, let's fucking go. Let's go. How am I going Let- to buy a fucking PC over there and bring it all over? Like, do you know what I mean? It's money, bro. Why can't you bring your PC with you? <laughs> well, I'm going to get a fucking shipping container to Bali and then get another one to fucking Australia. I'm working on different mean? time zones, bro. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, I'll be streaming at fucking in the evening in Bali. Everyone's in everyone's bed. No, you'd have to obviously stream when the English. Right, so are up. what? Fucking 3 a.m. in Bali? You're a night owl anyway. So I'll sleep in the day in Bali <laughs> and then be awake for the evening, but there'll be nothing to do because it's all shut. <laughs> that sounds like a brilliant idea. I guess what we're doing, we're paying for the Airbnb and we're paying a mortgage. Do you know how cheap it is in in Bali? I'm not even saying Bali anyway. Just... Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe I went there like a couple of months ago. I do. A couple mo- you mean a year and a half ago. That's a, how a quick year. time is flying, mate. Yeah. And I'm okay with Scary. that. Scary. You're terrifying. just scared. Yeah, I am scared. But you've got a whole life to live. I don't know about that, Chief. It depends when you're going to die, innit? Exactly. Yeah, you could die tomorrow. Well, I don't say that. You could die when you went to Bali. You could go to Bali and you get mauled by a dog. And then Don't say that. The dogs there are terrifying. Yeah, but then why'd you go to Bali? You just went to die. Just Can saying. you not say that? Can you not say that? You're going to spark anxiety in me. That's good. I, I I'm going gonna... to keep doing that. Do so you know what I was going to say to you? Do you want to go to Singapore for the weekend? But then I remembered um, <laughs> Singapore um, has the worst turbulence ever at the moment. So I was like, fuck that. But, but Why would I go for the weekend? How much money do you think I have? Because because one time you said to me that you would go to Singapore for the weekend and I really wanted to get out of here. It's because I've been in bed ill, so I'm just like, get me out. Yeah, walk to the beach. Not go to LA for 24 hours. (laughs) Yeah, I tried to convince James to go to LA with me. I'm not even joking. That's an expensive. You tried to book eight trips whilst you've been ill this week, and I'll keep saying no. And you go, Why are you saying no? We've got a whole life to live. (laughs) Bro, I have got maybe £500 on my account right now. (laughs) All right. Uh, I've got to pay rent, which is 900 So where's the other 400 coming from? Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't want to go to LA by myself. It's got a dark side to it, doesn't it? So it's everywhere. No, but like. Bali. Dangerous. Like Illuminati vibe. Here in England. 
as a pedo ring. Why'd you say that? <laughs> Probably because there is one. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? Who's a pedophile? You, clearly. What the fuck? No, <laughs> How no, do no, you know no. that? Shall I tell you what's crazy? Yes, you look like no. one right now. <laughs> Random one. I just feel like this is a bit of a catch-up episode. I don't think it will... It's not supposed to be, but I think it's turned into, bit, into one. But I did karaoke for the first time the other day. Yeah, you're obsessed. I'm obsessed. Every time I do streams now, because I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So I've seen you guys pop in, say, from the podcast. So that's pretty cool. So hello. Uh, but it's doing really well at the moment. And I like to end it off sometimes with karaoke. So I just sing on my own for like an hour on stream. It's not really karaoke, is it? No. It's just singing. I but then I did you, actually go to a karaoke booth, though. You, Loki, want to be a singer. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, no, <laughs> I hate that. You want to do karaoke for your birthday, don't you? No, I don't actually want to do that. No one's going to do it. Mm. Also, I'd probably take it too seriously. It wouldn't be fun. Yeah, you're that guy. I think I did that every time when I was singing last time. Not really many people just was clapping or anything and just looking at me. It was like I was actually put on the show. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like Arthur and George Batch and shit. When they were doing it, everyone was like laughing because they weren't good. But I think I was trying too hard and they were just silent. Were you actually trying? A little bit. <laughs> I actually can't, James. <laughs> you actually cringe me out sometimes. Uh, no, they were smiling. They went, oh, this is a tough song. I went, no, it's not. Not for me. What song was it? Creep. And then oh. Jolene. But it was very emotional, the Creep. You know what I mean? Because you, if you, you listen to the lyrics, it starts soft. Oh. And then it gets harder. So I was like... And, I'm a cre- and at the end, I was like, and I'm a creep. And everyone was just like, Really? And I was, and I'm a weirdo. No one will say anything. No, they were. I'm just trying to make you feel comfortable. What were they saying? This is amazing. I've never heard anything so beautiful in my life. <laughs> so, today's topic is controversial topics that we are going to discuss. The. Th- the, th- the, th- the <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> That's offensive. Um. So yes, it's things that people are scared to speak about. Things that people like to put their opinions things on. Things people are scared to speak about. Taking kids out of school for holiday. <laughs> Fucking so scared to say that. Um, basically controversial topics that you guys have asked us to talk about and share our opinions because sometimes it can be a bit controversial but free speech free free kingdom what they say i feel like we've actually had you know even though it feels like we've been chatting shit we've been quite opposing this Mm. whole podcast and it kind of actually fits in nicely because i think we're gonna have some opposing opinions and i you know just because i'm your boyfriend doesn't mean i'm gonna fucking hold your exactly. pocket and agree with you i'm gonna i'm gonna say no and you don't like it when mm-hmm. i disagree with you actually i've learned isabella is about it, the way it works with isabella you have to pretend or convince her it was her idea and then you're in the jackpot but if you go up to her and go i want to do this she's like nah but okay. and then you just do certain things she goes i think i want to do this you're like oh that is a great idea that is it. bullshit no it's not yeah it's that's you mate no you were wanted you didn't want to rent and no, then, I didn't. I wanted to buy somewhere, yeah, but and then, then our, our deal got yeah, But we could declined. still look for more homes. And we have, and there's nothing out there. I know. But I made so, that so. I told everybody to take the nice homes off the market. Oh. Uh, yeah. And then we have to rent. So, so I don't have to spend so much money in one go now. So I can spend it on myself. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, let's read some out. So the first topic that we are going to speak about is... Are low maintenance friends bad friends? No. What do you think? No, I don't think. Oh, so. sick! Well, that was good. <laughs> What's the next one then? <laughs> wow, that was controversial, wasn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell! Hot no, water. Speak about it. <laughs> no, speak about it, James. Speak about it. I'm. I would say I'm a low maintenance friend. Yeah. I think maybe I go through stages of being a high maintenance and a low maintenance friend. Yeah. But I like having low maintenance friends sometimes because i think a lot of my relationships in life like my my family like my cousins and my sisters and all whoever they're all long distance mm-hmm. i don't keep up with them even my best friends back in uni well when i was in high school went to went to uni i've, came, I've come back i don't see them all the time 
but when I see them, it's like nothing's changed. Yeah. And I feel like that's because I don't expect them to be in the loop with me all the time. And I think it also, I'm kind of one of those people that if I hang out with people too much or just do anything too much, I just start to dislike it because I always feel yeah. like I need to miss it a little bit. And I like having a big catch up. I like every time I see him, it's like, oh, fuck, oh, how you been, man? I haven't seen you in ages. That kind of thing. But in terms of like my best friends here, I like a bit of a mixture because I like us doing a lot of things. But sometimes when I'm busy, I don't want to feel like I have to mm. go out and do shit. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people recently have turned in to low maintenance friends because for example i feel like people are so bad at replying on social media now and i think it's because our brains are so overstimulated from all like this content we're consuming each day like you're scrolling on tiktok again and again and again and again and you're getting that like serotonin from don't me dopamine yeah that's it you're getting your dopamine from watching all this content but then you get kind of tired from how much you've consumed and then you've got to reply to your friends you just can't be bothered because you're tired like I do you get what i mean no i do and i don't i feel like you you work like that because you do get overstimulated by your phone for me i could be on my phone all day and it's fine what i don't like is having like i don't know eight friends smash you like in one day yeah, oh, but imagine imagine that. if social media didn't exist, right? And you just had your phone just to message your friends. You 100% would be more active at doing that. But because yeah. you've got other things that are keeping you entertained, it's almost like you don't really like need to message your friends. No, I get that. I get that. Because you've got social media keeping got, you entertained, yeah. which is weird to think about. But I think it does have... Yeah, but I think that's COVID, though, it. because people were so used to now being by themselves and COVID that they've kind of actually somehow become comfortable being alone. Yeah. Where a lot of people never used to be comfortable being alone. They always wanted to go out and do this. But now people are like, oh, I just want to chill and watch fucking TV. Yeah. And because it's like you said, there's so much out there that you can keep yourself entertained by. Whether that's consoles, like games or streams or fucking movies, anything. You don't actually really have to do anything anymore. Yeah. You could just be in bed and have everything you need. I love meeting my friends in person. I am not a big texter, like, at all. And I'm not a big FaceTimer either. I would just rather see you in person and actually spend time together. Yeah. Um, I can't have friends that are constantly messaging me or FaceTiming me. Like, I love that they, you know, it's so nice that you've got someone thinking of you and they're always, like, texting you. And I think that's lovely if you can match that. But if you can't match that, it's not going to work out. And that is me. I just, I'll never be able to match that because mm. I've got so much going on in my head. It's like, I just, I just don't like being on my phone that much. Like, because social media is my job as well. I'm on my phone a lot. Um, so when, so when I'm not on it for work, I like to just try be off it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? With the question being asked, what's better to have because of what's the negatives of a high maintenance friend and what's the positives i think the negatives of a high maintenance friend is don't buy your nails i'm not buying my nails but i'm literally what the fuck i think the negative with high maintenance friend is what are you doing take one arm of clothe off <laughs> stop it so that's your body count 10 joking it's not 10 it's more than that it's not safe Go on. <laughs> um the negative for a high maintenance friend is sometimes they can like if you don't answer them or if you don't answer their facetime or whatever they can get a bit like angry not, not angry i don't know maybe annoyed i don't know yeah. they, they're like oh why aren't you replying to me why aren't you doing this oh why haven't you seen me in so long and i personally don't like that because if i'm not seeing my friends for a reason it's not because i just don't want to see you it's just because i'm busy and when you've got friends that don't respect your time and don't respect that, you know, you're saying no for a reason, oh, I can't get on that. Like, yeah. I prefer a low maintenance friend that knows you'll see each other when you see each other and, you know, you're going to have fun and, you know, you don't have to question, like, oh, have I seen them enough? Like, are they going to get annoyed that I haven't seen them X amount of times or are they going to get annoyed that I haven't replied to them? Like, I just prefer someone that just, you know, you see them and it's like nothing's changed. Oh, no, exactly. And I think with high maintenance friends as well, like, it's, it's, I think it's fun because it's nice to be hanging out, especially if you're not that busy or you want to hang yeah. out with too. If you're two high maintenance friends, 
I think it works really well because you're just doing those fun things. But I think it could that can also turn toxic. It's almost like you then become like friendships are relationships. No, I know, I know. In that. a way, and they can when you're too involved with each other, it can get really like you then have a toxic friendship where you you see each other all the time but then something happens where you can't see them anymore but then that person's like well what are you doing like it's a big change who are you with yeah who's your new friend yeah no but i just honestly i think i don't know i think it's a difficult one i think that's more of an opinion based rather than like a controversial topic i think that's just more just like what would you, who are you and who you prefer yeah there's no right or wrong answer no i think it just depends on your personality but yeah. from from my experience i've never had like positives come out of a high maintenance friend i think company if you want if you're looking for company and someone who cares yeah it's nice but, to have a but a low maintenance friends still care no, they just i more, feel like they have more respect for you no but it's different it depends if you're if you're a high maintenance friend and well you have one and they're going to show it more and sometimes like it helps you come out of your shell because if you're with a lot of low maintenance friends, maybe it's hard to actually get stuff yeah. instigated because nobody wants to do anything. Yeah, no, that's so true. But there's always sometimes someone you need being that like, person, "Come on, like, yeah, yeah let's come fucking on, go." So it's yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, my, a bit of both. all my friendship groups are all. I'm, when I say high, I don't like the word high maintenance because it just feels like I'm just shitting on them. But I've yeah. got a lot of people in my friendship group that are high, low, medium, fucking whatever. There's all different types of energy and needs and lifestyles fucking some people work some people don't work mm. people work for themselves it's, so people are more available when they're not I so. like high maintenance when it's not like when it's not when you say no it's not a problem yeah then that's cool it's yeah. just when it's like they're constantly asking you and you've got to turn them down and then they're like oh you never see me oh, feels like a chore after like, then oh, yeah you just feel like bad you, feel like you get scared. overwhelmed because yeah. you're like oh fuck like what am I gonna do yeah 100% so I guess we're low maintenance girlies. <laughs> oh yeah, right. The next one is when you have a child, mm-hmm. would you put them in private school if you could, or just take them to public school? This is if you had the money to do both. Well, one's free, one's not. But if you had loads of money, for example, and you could afford to take your kids to private school, would you take them to private school? Or would you keep them to public school? And I want to hear your thoughts about this. Me and James have had disagreements on this i want people in the comments right now or whoever's watching just to guess who's who who's private who's public okay votes are in well you're right what are you public private i think with private schools is a stigma say like everyone that goes there are posh twats mm. i know you think that but in my head if you take a kid who is i don't know fucking born Mm. and they do that reception to year seven private schooling. I think that they're not going to be brainwashed into a posh twat. They're just kids being kids, but they just got a bit, maybe, maybe a better. I'm not saying it's definitely a better education. I think. It's a safer environment. I'm not maybe. saying everyone that goes to private school is a posh trap. Trap? Posh. Twat. <laughs> twat. Um, I'm not saying everyone that goes to private school is a posh twat. But I am possibly saying that everyone that goes to private school is a bit of out out of touch. Like Yeah, but I also do think that's how you've been brought up anyway. Yeah, but the type of people that go to private school are ones that are gonna be out of touch because but, okay, they've me, got money. Yeah, but me and you have a kid. Yeah. Surely if we have a lot of money and it goes to public school, it will still be out of touch because we'll do the same thing. No, things. because it's if around not, we have people. More money. Because it's around people that don't have a lot of money but, and it's showing them like different walks of life. Whereas if you're in private school oh. and you're surrounded by all the same types of people, I don't think that's beneficial. Okay, so the kid comes home and goes, I want five Xboxes. What I say? No. Yeah. All right. Sick. He's not going to be a dick, is he? Yeah, but he it doesn't matter if he's a dick or not. He's still not around, like... Yeah, but that's you assuming that everybody that goes to private schools are all out of touch and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I've that been, is me assuming. Because I, I know people that have been in private school. Uh, obviously, I went to public school the whole my life, but my some of my family members went to private. A lot of them actually did. My brother went to private school for his, like, year one to five, six, whatever. Yeah. And he's not out of touch. You see what I'm saying? Because he's just young. And I've, I think when you're that age, all kids are just kids. And they don't. Fuck, I year, get year, that. year three and year two, don't fucking talk about. Also, like, what's your daddy do? 
What does your mummy do? Yeah, oh, of course. Tell us the fucking it's the, the family net worth. School. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Take them to public school in secondary school. But what is the point? Because what I think it, private school for kids, for like young kids, it propels them to fucking. Whoosh. Like my brother became really smart. I guess. I'm maybe. just. I'm only going off what I know. Yeah, yeah. And also, my my some members of my family, uh, some have like learning difficulty, learning difficulties, and sometimes the private school are a little bit better because it's it's a lot stricter. Like I remember doing my homework with them, and they had to do their homework. I mean, they had they had to do so much mm. after school mm. at to like a certain level. They have to like it's all like proper suits. Yeah. Like it gets them like they feel like it's like a you know proper right. Well, you go to school, you got to fucking work hard, and then you know, it, I think maybe then take them into public afterwards in year seven. They might be more like okay, this is the standard, mm. and also then then they have all. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Think I don't negative. know. I don't think it's a huge. Uh, I I I don't feel like the the need for my kid to go to private. I don't school. think I need. But um, if it would benefit them, I wouldn't just say no because the people around them are whatever yeah. like if, if you said to me factually if your kid went to private school and he, you'll get a grade above like one grade above everything well, then else that's um, different ob- yeah but like i don't care if he's around posh twats i want him to do what he can do right. or she can do what she can do to the best ability so let's say if she went to private school she would get an a but in public she'd get a b because statistically speaking people perform better at private school i would rather them go to private school just because i want the best of them I don't know. It's, I, want, I want to know what everyone's thoughts about that because it's not like I really want them to go. I really don't mind if they don't. But if I had the money and it would benefit them, I'd rather do it just to benefit them. But I think it's a half and half mixture. Yeah, because when I went to primary and secondary school, I didn't really learn anything. But I don't know if that's just because I'm me and yeah, but I also don't I'm like, such a daydreamer. I, think, I don't know what it's like. I, well, people used to get really bullied in public school like, mm. i used to get bullied quite badly but like, i never really heard about it in private like my cousins are like no there's not much bullying going on. You oh, get so see, told i've off. heard that there is bullying in private schools oh, and really? all the girls are really bitchy that's what i've heard from from the one in brighton anyway apparently that was like the worst really mm-hmm. i guess it's different in it? different areas different whatever yeah you know brighton has the most expensive um, oh, private school. Private school, yeah. Oh, I fucking want to take him to there then. <laughs> it's like, like fifty-four grand a, a year, year or something. Who the fuck is paying that? That's a lot of money. That's just getting your tax down in it. Like that's crazy. But isn't fuck. that isn't um Labour trying to stop that? Though? There's like there's systems in lab, um in private schools that are like loopholes. Yeah. So where like, but I think it's not the people who pay. I think it's the private schools themselves mm. do like ways to retain more money than paying tax right. as the school. Not like people who do it. That's their own business. Well, guys, comment down below. Are you going to... Would you send your kids to private school? We'll make a poll on Spotify. If you're on Spotify, we'll make a poll and you can vote for it. And speaking of school, this is another one because it's been in the news Mm -hmm. quite often. Um, It's been in the news quite quite recently and it's about uh parents taking their kids on holiday in school times Mm -hmm. because it's cheaper um but then they get fined like a serious amount yeah what are your thoughts on that because i think me and james have different opinions on this i say yours i always say mine first personally personally i think i think it's fine to take your kids out for a week one week out of the whole school year if that allows your family to go on a nice holiday where you guys can afford it, because when it's when it's half term, the prices skyrocket and then they're not able to. So at the end of the day, I think your kid will survive a week off school. No, yeah, but it's also your your school is a certain amount of term and it's all worked out for yeah but you're your creating child. memories like you're creating memories with your family i think it's but just it's almost important like going because when that kid looks back on its childhood yeah, but it, it that to me is it's like imagine going to work you, you got a nine to five job and then you decide you know what sorry boss i ain't come for a week i need to make some memories but you've you've you signed up for something do you see what i'm saying i think mean, i i don't i like, i went out at school time Mm. I've, I, I'm not saying, and I probably would do it for my child too. But I'm, if if that's the rules, and you signed up for that that certain rule, and you're trying to break that rule, oh, it's a rule, isn't it? 
other rules you'll break. You yeah, get but off. I don't think that should be a rule, or they need to just put down the prices for half term because it's well, not well, fair. Yeah. Because kids deserve a little break; they deserve a holiday. But also, it without sounding like I'm not trying to sound out of touch, whatever. Because I didn't go; I only went on holiday with my dad, never my mum. Mm. I live with my mum, so I'd never really. Me and my mum had our first ever holiday together when I was eighteen. Yeah. So, but if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I, I, even if it's like it's, it's unfair as it may seem, mm. being like, well, you know, you can only take it at half uh, out at half term, and it's going to cost you so much more. But that is just the reality of how it is, and yeah. it's, it will never go cheaper because that's when people go on holiday because people are supposed to be in school. You see what I'm saying? If if anybody yeah. can go anywhere anytime, there'll just be one constant pricing. And it will just be as expensive as all time. I know, I know. Oh, it's sticky. And but... also, like, I think I like the idea of potentially having it where, depending on your attendance, you can pull your kid out. Yeah. Because otherwise, it'd be like the you know kids are ill, and for some like there's loads of reasons why people don't attend school. But let's say like you're describing, and you know you you know you pull a sticky, or whatever, and then your attendance is maybe like eighty percent of the school year. I don't think you should then take another week out. But if your attendance is between 100 to 95% and you want to pull out your child for a week, I think that's fine because yeah. other kids have probably missed more. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. from being ill. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or like just skiving mm. or being expelled or like suspended. You see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you could. Yeah. If, I a think kid can, so. if a kid can get suspended for a week or two and then come back to school, I don't see why you can't go on holiday for a week Hearing, if you're a well behaved yeah. child and attending very well. Hearing your opinion now, I do get it, but still, I don't think the parent deserves to get like proper fine i don't think a fine is but then again what what has to be in place for you to not do it if you're just gonna get a letter for your door you're probably gonna fuck that i'll just do it and it's, but if it's gonna be like your kid's gonna get kicked out of school you wouldn't do it because you want your kid to be in school mm. right but they can't just kick out a kid for that that's what they gotta do it's not the kid's fault it's your fault so they gotta fine you they can't kick but you out i think i think okay if you're taking them out a whole week yeah but say if you're flying like two days before half term that's fine. I think that's fine. But I don't think you every deserve fucking to get kid fined that. for that. No, but I think they're just cracking it down now because I think the grades aren't doing so well. Mm. Just every year, I think the grades thresholds are going down. <laughs> I think people are more... Just we sound so old. Oh, no, I'm just being honest. <laughs> I don't want to say... I think the grade threshold is going down. Now. <laughs> all I'm saying, right, all I'm saying is I don't want to sound like I'm out of touch. I like... Everyone knows I like to be devil's advocate. I would never, ever... I, if I if I pull I would I would definitely pull my kid out a week or have him let him have or she yeah. have a few days off. Like, fuck it, I was a kid. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Want, all right. What have you got to do? You got is that an important day? Fuck yeah. it, stay at home. Yeah. The new Call of Duty's come out. Stay at home. <laughs> like, I, do you know what I mean? I I won't care. But I can't. I I understand why you have to find somebody if they're kind of breaking the rules. Mm. Like taking them a week out early is a bit of a piss take. Yeah. Just a because whole week. it's obviously cheaper. And some people can only afford that, but that is kind of, you know what I mean? It's like, it is what it is. Yeah. It sucks, but it's like, fuck. But it's, then again, like, go on holidays, people really need that break. Exactly. From their graft and the kids yeah. and whatever. And it's been nice for the kids to have some memories. I know some people that never, never ever left the country until 21 because they couldn't yeah. afford to. And that's sad. Mm. So there definitely doesn't, need, there needs to be some sort of pricing system for. Like you used to get vouchers to go on holiday for like twenty quid or some shit. What? Yeah, like in the sun or something. You used to like be able to. Oh get, shit! Yeah. But like now you can't. There's nothing. No. And yeah. Everything costs so much, and like now you have to pay for extra baggage and fucking. Mm. Or you, oh, sky scanner. It's a hundred pound a flight. No, it's not. It's two hundred quid because you've yeah. got to add this, this. Why this, is this. baggage so expensive now? So it's just you know, <clears throat> I could go on and on and on and on and on, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Dirty James. I don't want to seem like a prick though. I don't, I don't want to come across like I'm some... I don't think you're a prick. No, but I don't want to come across like some like, oh, out of touch, like, well, if you don't have the money, you can't do it, tough tits. <laughs> yeah. But it's just more like rules are rules in a way. <laughs> but I also, I would also break them rules But myself. also like we are just two 23-year-olds, like don't, our opinions don't mean shit. No, but I'd also break the rules myself, but I also <laughs> understand, like if my mum my said to me before, like, I was like, mum, please don't have the, the day off school. She's like, no, I'm going to get fucking fine. I'm like, yeah, fucking pay for it then, bro. <laughs> like, my mum didn't have the money for that. But like, I was so, because I was a kid, I didn't know what the fine yeah. was. And like, she used to get letters sometimes being like, your kid has not been in school for this man, right? Mm-hmm you're going to get a fucking warning from the fucking council or government, wherever it was. But God, like, how much were you missing? 
I miss that a lot because my mum was the only one that could take me to school. I lived too far at the catchment area after I moved. So I moved, I would live right by the school. I could walk to school in two minutes. Not yet. I could see my school from my home. Moved away, about half an hour away, 40 minutes. I'm not in the catchment area anymore, but I'm already in the school. And my mum had uh, neck surgery. What was it? Arm surgery. She had arm surgery, I'm pretty sure, the first time. She couldn't drive. Oh. Uh, and they would have refused to get a bus for me. Oh. Uh, they refused to add me on the bus route. And they said that I could walk to the school. That would take me t- like two hours. No and way. they said that, well, he can come in for lunchtime. And then he can leave at like 3 p.m. My mum was like, he's not going to come in for three hours of school and walk four hours. And they were like, well, if he doesn't come to school, I'm going to fucking mark him as not present. And then my mum flipped at the head teacher and the head teacher like, apologised. And they ended up giving, they didn't, the school didn't want to give me homework. So they didn't, yeah. they didn't give me any work. So I had like two That's weeks of school. fair. Yeah, I bet you love that oh, though. fucking sick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I think like, that should happen though what? is maybe do you know how like uni you get like maintenance loan depending on your family's household income I think there should so, should be something like that but for like families and benefits of to on holiday I know a holiday is not a necessity of life I so, think it is no but may, well if you deep it you can live without going on holiday but you can't live without food yeah, and paying yeah. rent and have a home no yeah but, i mean just more like oh, mental health but uh, yeah but yeah that's important mental health but i feel it should be like right if you've got a family of this or you're you're you have x amount of income you should be able to get like 40 percent off of one holiday a year or one every two years just so now i've seen people aren't taking advantage but then it gives it like the kids can stay at school, but they can still mm. go on holiday. And it's cheaper yeah, for them. And yeah. I think I, I think the, the justice needs to be fair. <laughs> yeah. The system needs to be fair. Run for I'm mayor. I'm for mayor of Brighton. <laughs> Next, people want us to talk about Ozempic. Uh, I think it's fucking a load of shit. I Do really, think really think it's fucking shit. People on Ozempic. Yes. What you judge them for being on it, or uh, judging is the wrong word. There's, there's, I think, well, diabetes is one of them. But there's other reasons why people have to be on Ozempic. Right, I'm pretty sure. I don't know the facts. Pardon? There's other reasons why people have to be on Ozempic for diabetes. Yeah, but I think there's also something else. Oh, is there? I think it's something to do with depression or. Oh. I think there is like, I think there is something. Some doctors prescribe it when it's not just for diabetes, but it's it's mainly a diabetes medicine. Right. I'm pretty sure. Don't hold me to that. So it's not. It's mainly for diabetes, or I could be wrong. It might just be for diabetes. But if you take it for anything that isn't prescribed and for medicinal purposes. I think you're a cunt. Yeah, because you're taking that away from someone that actually needs it. it do you know how important it is? Like my my nan, where is she? She's on the she's on my desk. She um she had diabetes, and because when she had dementia, she was like nearly killing herself because she obviously forgot how to fucking do it, mm. and like she was pricking herself wrong and testing it wrong, and her machine was wrong. But anyway, but the point is like it is so important for people to have their diabetes medicine mm. because your whole blood sugar level is fucked. And it can really cause you to have some proper issues. And then people are like, no, I'm going to just get skinny. What if people Go are to the using, fucking gym. What if people are like really overweight and need need it? What There's other you? ways to lose weight and not at the expense of someone else. Yeah, I guess. In my in my opinion, that is what if it's a shortage. A, what if there's enough to go around though? Would you? If there's enough to go around, like with fucking paracetamol and fucking whatever. Yeah. But because it's not. Yeah, that's why it's a controversial issue. Yeah. It's like, would you eat McDonald's if it didn't get you fat every day of your life? Yeah, I fucking would. But it doesn't. It would get me fat. Mm-hmm. And the same thing is, would you take a Zempic if no one else, if everyone, everyone in the world has a Zempic? Yeah, I would. Not I personally would, but people would. <laughs> I don't understand what you the just said. The point is, but... <laughs> the whole point of this issue is that it is, uh, it is needed for other people and there is a sh- shortage. And the reason why it's a shortage is because people who don't have diabetes are taking it just to get slim. Sometimes it's like, sometimes it's to do with you know illnesses yeah but then that then that's when I class that's medicinal right if yeah. you've been prescribed via a doctor saying you need this to lose weight because it's going to be difficult for you you're just talking about an average person I'm talking about just, just fucking to get slimmer Kylie Jenner for example yeah or fucking what's her name Kim Kardashian yeah uh, or like Scott from fucking he's, oh I'm skinny now yeah. and they don't want to talk about it because they're scared about it yeah that annoys me because it's important for people Mm. and I think if anybody else disagrees with me fucking check yourself bro <laughs> because you're, you're putting your stuff you, you, someone if you if, if, if a doctor said oh god alright it's going to be hard for you to lose weight because you know you're at a certain weight and your mobility is 
it's, you're, you know, you need to lose weight quick because it's unhealthy. If and he gives you that, fine. You've been allowed it, but you can't take it and not being allowed or prescribed it because then it's just like, what the fuck? Someone also, there's needs other things I think that aren't Ozempic but do the same thing, and they are just for like weight loss. That's fine. So I'm not against well, weight loss. <laughs> yeah, I'm I not. Know. I'm against. You're against. Sh- um, sh- Making a shortage of, of medicine. something that people actually so need, need. Yeah, to yeah. live. It's like yeah. fucking. It said there was people have cancer, right? And there was a there was a uh, a cure for cancer, but it, at the other time, it makes you fly, mm-hmm. right? And people start popping because they just want to fly. <laughs> yeah, but it's like not bare fair. people are dying of cancer now. Yeah, yeah, it's that's not, not fair. fair. It's not fair because you just because you just want to fly. It's like what the fuck? People need that just to live, bro. Uh-huh. Well, that's our opinion on who's that's, that's my opinion. What's your opinion? My opinion is, I I guess I do agree, but I guess I'm not as um as um opinionated as you. I'd say I wouldn't say I, in that. I wouldn't sound sense, super opinionated. I I get what you're trying to say. Like other people might need it. I'm just going off. If you're not prescribed it, don't take it. Yeah. But you think if you're not prescribed it, you could take it still. I, like I said, it all depends on why. But I think if you're slim anyway, you're just taking it to get even slimmer. I think. But if someone who is bigger wants to take it to lose weight, I think if you've tried everything else and this is the only thing that's working. But I don't know. But I can't. I don't think I can agree with you because going to the gym and eating a calorie deficit and all these things will work. Yeah, but not always, it, not always. But I don't think I. I. I could be wrong. But if you if you're burning more calories that you're taking in and you're going to the gym and you're building muscle which burns f- fat quicker mm-hmm. and you're putting on weight. I don't think that's even physically possible. Well, then it's a, it's a, a P, like PCOS. Yeah. That makes you gain weight. Okay. So if you had that, I get yeah. it. Yeah, but then that's, again, that's where I class that as medicinal. Yeah. Because you actually need, if you physically... And sometimes people's metabolism, they just can't lose weight sometimes i'm not i'm not saying that everyone could just you know i'm just saying it's hard because you know what you said pcos mm-hmm. in my head i class that as medicinal yeah because that you're in a it's a medical condition yeah anything that's you know stopping you from but if i took it i've got no, no need for it no and i just take it because i want to get a six pack before barcelona yeah <laughs> yeah it's not fair this is a light-hearted one what is the correct word for a bread roll? Bap, batch, etc. Personally, I call it a batch. A batch of bread. So, like, say you get a bacon roll. People call it all these things. I call a... Uh, what's the word for a bread roll? Yeah. A bap. I call it a roll. I don't call it a bap or a batch or a butty or whatever the bacon fuck. Bacon butty. Oh, yeah. I call it just a roll. No, well, oh, yeah, I'll have a... Well, it depends what they call it on the menu. <laughs> but yeah, but if it's come out of your mouth... Come out of my you mouth, it? I'll have a bacon sandwich. Bacon sandwich. But that's not a roll. A... No, you know, just like Yeah, a... I know what you're saying. I know what a fucking bread roll is. I'm trying yeah. to think. If I had a, ba- a bacon bed- sandwich, a I'd obviously I'll say, people call that a bacon butty, even if it's a bacon sandwich. So two fat bread that you get... Yeah, COVID, yeah, they call it call a, butty a butty anyway. Right? Yeah. I'll call that a, just a sandwich. Yeah, same, same. But when it comes in a roll... I call it a roll. I call it... A bacon bap? Do bacon you bap? Actually? Bacon bun? Bacon bap? Bacon bun? No way. I don't know. I don't really have it. I don't or a fucking... batch. I've never, I've never had, had a batch. I've never had a batch. Bacon Italian batch. <laughs> I'm going to say roll. That's what I say. I'm going to say bacon roll. Yeah, bacon roll. Bacon sarni. Sarni. Sarni, yeah. We say sarni. That's a sandwich. Oh, yeah. That is if it's in actual bread. Yeah, not the roll. Not the roll. The fat stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said controversial topic on the wedding bill should be split. What? <laughs> is it not normally? What? You think I'm paying for the entire wedding? That is fucking hilarious because you want to get nothing. <laughs> so I think. If we both want a wedding, right? Technically, the parents are supposed to pay for it. Well, that's if we're not talking happening. about old times, well, that's not but happening. that's definitely not happening. So, if you wanted a wedding and it's going to cost us us one hundred twenty grand, it's our wedding. So we're going halves on it. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hope so. 
Because in all fairness, a wedding is mainly for the woman. No, it's not. And I find that so crazy that you actually say that. Have you been dreaming of it since a kid? Yeah. I have not. But is that not just you? No, I think a lot of men out here. Let's talk about men, men, women marriages. I don't know what it's like for other marriages, but I feel like the woman's like, oh, a little princess is my dream day. I want to get married. I want to look like I need this dress. I'm a, for men, it's a fucking standard suit. If a yeah. stag dude's there, calm. Flower arrangements. Really? Men don't care about the flower arrangements. As it, long as it looks pretty, whatever. Yeah. But so, it's mainly the woman's like, I want this, this, this. And that's fine. So if the woman is planning the whole wedding Mm -hmm. you know she's designed the flowers you know she's sorted the table out the food everything that goes into a wedding she has pretty much planned and you've just kind of just said yeah all right yeah 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 to everything you still think that she should pay half but do you think that i would be allowed to plan it i think because and then if i got involved actually i want these flowers but james fuck off i want these flowers it's my wedding no, I would be like, oh, what do you like? And I'd say, I'm I, w- I want these. If I'm paying for it, I want these. Um, and then you'll go, mm, no, I don't want it. Well, you should want to make your wife happy. Boom! Exactly what I'm saying. It's for you. Yeah, but you should want, no matter, you should want to make your wife happy. I would love to. That I should be for to. you. That should be what you get out of this wedding. Yeah, but it's, it's piss take. I'll say to you, I've got a budget 20 grand. Yeah. So make that do. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, that's fine. It's not easy. Yeah. It's expensive. I know. And you would want this 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 dress and this 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 this. So it's fifty grand. Oh, I've got the money for that. But if we went together, we could maybe do a forty grand wedding. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I would love to. If I was honestly, if I was really rich, I'd pay for everything. But I'm not. You are richer than me. So you're saying if you are rich, you would pay for it. All. If I was mega rich, where it would not even dent me, I'd pay for the whole thing. I'm not stupid either. But you are way worth way more than me by a fucking triple, bro. Right. And I'm just saying your standards of stuff that you might want, because you could afford them, you might be like, oh, I'll have this, I'll have this, but I can't match you. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think it all depends on financial situation. Yeah, but I, I, wouldn't, I would be very odd. For me, I've never really thought about it, but I would have thought we would pay it together as our wedding. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be like 70%, 30%. Because I'd be like, I would get it maybe if the parents want to pay 20% of the wedding and then we pay uh-huh. the 80% together. But I would find it odd because also like, it's something that we wanted to do. You know, if you really wanted it more than I did, I don't give a shit about it. Mm-hmm. I th- I don't still don't think that's like a reason why you should pay more than me. Yeah, I don't know. I've never really heard about how people have paid for a wedding anyway. Like, I just thought it was I like, don't how you pay for a home but... though. I thought we'd be like, okay, we're buying a home together. We'll, you pay it together. Yeah. Or whatever works in terms of like equity. Yeah. Like if you do earn 500% more than me, I only earn 10 grand a year and you earn 50 grand a year or 500 grand a year, whatever, maybe you should pay more because mm-hmm. I generally can't afford to pay more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vice versa. Yeah, it all depends. If but I guess, made, I guess yeah. a girl's dream is just <laughs> getting a man to pay for it all. <laughs> Fucking man's dream is getting dicks up every day. But that doesn't happen either, bro. <laughs> dreams are dreams for a reason. Guys, comment down below if you've ever been married and <laughs> how demographic is you like paid for it. 16 to 22. <laughs> but the odd people that got married, maybe. <laughs> but the majority are probably not married. I know. And we're out here talking about these big girl topics. Oh. Can you stop doing this? So but I've got a headache, man. I've got a headache. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Now I'm paying a little bit less that wedding now. <laughs> <coughs> I've got one. I took inspo from one of the other ones. It's about friends. It's about Ross and Rachel. But I was going to spin it a little bit. If you're on a break with somebody, do you now have the reason to have a go at them if they did something whilst you're on a break with another person? So for example, if me and you had a break and I kiss another girl whilst we were on a break, could you have a right to have a go at me? Yes. Because Why? you're not broken up. We're on a break. It's in the yeah, word. you're on a break. It's, on, it's in the word. It's yeah. the, it's the, it literally is the word. Yeah, but, it, break. but a break means just a little bit of a break from each other. You're just not around each other all the time, but you're still together, in my opinion. 
You're not broken up. Yeah, but it's not that You're break. You're not break. That, so that no. break doesn't mean you can go kiss another girl. You're we're yeah, broken up that, now. Doesn't that doesn't that break signify how you deal with you guys not being together though? No. 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 Yeah, let's go on a break, and then it sees, and then you guys go. Let's see what it's like in two weeks' time. So no yeah, but that doesn't mean see what. The, that's not an excuse for you to get with another girl. No, but that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, if we're on a break, and I said we have no contact for two weeks, and then you go kiss another boy, that shows to me you don't want to get back together. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. But the, if you did that on a break, I'm like, well, I wouldn't say it's cheating as such because we're broken up, but you kind of disrespected me, yeah. and I thought we'd get back together. But I wouldn't say you're a cheater because we're on a break, but I will not get back with you. I would class it as cheating because in my head, a break isn't broken up. It's well, then just don't having say it's some a break. time away from each other. But then the word break is wrong then. I think that we just have, let's, let's spend a bit of time. Let's, you go to your home, I go to my home. We're still very much together. Yeah. Let's just spend some distance apart. But right. when you, someone says to me, we're going to want a break, break. I just um, feel like yeah. we're not together for a two weeks. A man's brain's going to take that as, oh, I can shag someone else. You, I'm not, i got no gain. You're yeah, I know me, you haven't. But... You're telling me in two weeks, yeah, that I'm going to fucking go, yeah, I'm going to fucking get some fucking pussy. You would try, I don't but think you I would fail. I wouldn't try. I wouldn't fail. So you're on a break. Yeah. And you're having time apart to see if, you know, you can resolve this issue that whatever you've You're not broken up on. then technically because you still have to have that official word, we're broken yes, up. Yes, exactly. So if you go then and get with someone... I'm going to think in my head, okay, well, he clearly doesn't want to fight for this relationship. And would you he's used this break cheating. as to get with someone else. So would you cast it as cheating? Yes. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yes, I would. Cla- I think cla- You're telling me if I got with another boy while we were on a break, you wouldn't class it as cheating. I know 100% you would. I don't think I would. So you'd be like, oh, it's all right, darling. I wouldn't say it's all right. I'd say you disrespect to me. And, you know, we could have we worked things out, but obviously you don't want to be in this relationship. We're on a break and you've just flopped off to the next person that like, on the break. Fuck you. you know, see you later. Yeah. But if we were together and I was going out for a pint and I come back and there was a man fucking you in the ass <laughs> and I just come home, I'd be like, that's cheating. Yeah. Because you've like completely like, you're pretending to be with, well, you, you're still with me, but doing something else. But if we're on a break, you're technically not with me. Mm. We're just having a time apart. I don't know. Mm. I wouldn't say it's cheating, but I wouldn't say I fucking, I'm calm with it. Yeah. Oh my god, you fucking no way. Your body went up five times last one a two week break. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> oh, no worry about that, because a break's a break. You can do whatever you want, girl. Mm. Anyway, back together, yeah? No, I'll be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It'd be more like, wow, in two weeks you did that much damage. You really didn't give a fuck. Exactly. But I wouldn't be like, You're a cheater, cheater, stinker. You would be I know James. And I know You know James, was. do you? No, you don't know me at all. Not I'm not really. even gonna say who I am. I'm not James Foreman. <laughs> what if I did that? I just, I was just like fucking, I'm like. Uh, scream and run out. No, I just did that. Ah! <laughs> no, I was just an ape. Well, you don't really look like you right now. And I was to an be ape. Fair. I do fancy the um, ape from Planet of the Apes, so. Which ape? Caesar. Caesar's dead. I know. R.I.P. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, but the, the, no, the other main one now. I can't the remember big, his name. The big, the big, the 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 angry one. No, the uh, he's he's played by the younger boy. Yes, like the younger man. Yeah, yeah, because you find him fit. No, I don't. No, you do. I do. Oh, I'll do. I'll do an impression right now. Of yeah, ape. go on then. <clears throat> Sign me up. I think 
you need to get auditioning. No, yeah, thank you. I'll try. That was actually terrifying. I'm actually never I thought you were about to, to eat me. I didn't even go to ape class. I didn't even go to ape class. You need to get there. Guys, someone send James the link to audition for Planet of the Apes because that was kind of scary. And I could be the, one of the really tall fucking apes. Yeah. I could be like, like a spider monkey, bro. And you know they give you like stilts. Yeah. And then they end up walking like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 go away. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think that is enough for one day. Um, we said we weren't going to talk for an hour and a half, and here we are, talking for an hour and a half. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You're the only one. The only one for me. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. See you guys. Goodbye, guys. See you next week. <laughs>